Hi guys and welcome to Yoni Play Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. I see a sniper over there. Yes. I'm over there. Okay, wait guys, hold on. Uh, I will duel you. Just give me a second to gear up. What a convenient place for your head. Last shot. <laughs> right over there. Perfect. Solid performance. This is some serious adventure. I mean, considering last time, the extent was basically. Um, no bullets for this gun, right. Yeah, I don't know where the other guy went. He ran in here somewhere. He's trying to flank me, maybe. that There he is. 
dude. Dude, excuse me. It's like, I, I, I can hear something. It's like... It's like... Someone's shooting at me. Guys. Guys, I... I think... I think maybe... I'm getting nice. eyes. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Ah, stupid jamming guns. Ah. Hold on. Alright. I kind of noticed that this gun is significantly less armor penetration, has significantly less armor penetration than the one I, the other one. Well, I guess it's the bullets really. Damn it, now I won't get back up, will I? Mm. Damn. I pressed the sneak. Yes, okay. Press the sneak button instead of the sprint. enemy taken care of okay sure whatever carry whatever you want marked one I'm just this is not going to end well You can't, you guys can't, oh, you simply can't. Didn't get anyone. I figured out you can see on the mini map if they die. Danger Will Robinson. If you hear something strange, it is the cat. It is always the cat. I don't know, okay? Shut up. Using all the bullets is my specialty. 
and though it may seem like I don't know what I'm doing it is simply that I'm trying another strategy for in good times as in bad one must play with one's creativity I don't know whether I was right or wrong. I guess I'll never know. But I made it. And I guess I should be thankful for that. I guess that was it. Wow. I've been playing non-stop since... Um, since I teamed up with those duty guys to... Um, to start heading north. Actually. So, quite a while. <laughs> And now I feel a little sad that it's over. I mean, I'm sure there's stuff I could do, but... But the main thing is over. Like, there's a lot of things that about this game that I, I would have uh, wanted to know better. Like, that it wasn't... Like, that the zone started spreading after the actual nuclear explosion like he said at the end that you know the explosion happened first and then they started doing the experiments on the location and then the zone happened because the the consciousness dudes uh, did something wrong I mean I didn't get that I thought that all of this was because of that explosion and then then you know I, I didn't really see the well I didn't I didn't understand <laughs> what would happen when I reached the center. It was pretty neatly done, I guess, all of this, you know. Um, you start, you, you're allowed to start realizing yourself how things hang together, that that it's probably because of humans and that it's some kind of experiment and some kind of mental manipulation thing um, and also that, you know it's, it was allowed to grow on me the fact that I was probably Strelok 
It was a little clumsy maybe, the last diary entry was actually in me form. Um, I don't think that was necessary. But I guess that's just confirmation. Confirmation. Um, I don't know what else to say. It. For me, I, I get a little impatient when I have to like sit behind the cover and shoot 40 bu bullets at someone one by one to try to hit their head. But at the same time, it really gives this sense of of satisfaction when you really hit someone. I mean, when when you actually one shot some really powerful enemy at any distance, um, it actually means something, um, and that is pretty cool, I think. DHQ, hey, never noticed that. Mm, I like the look of the game. I think everything looks very like like one unit. And I really really like this last segment after you spoke to the consciousness guy, the sea consciousness. Sea conscious? Yeah. The whole warping and running on rooftops and sniping at at millions of distance and and the sort of ammo management and stuff. I I really like that. I think in general I that impatience of sitting behind cover shooting 40 shots at someone is just increased by millions if you actually feel like you are hitting. It's not because of it's not because of me that I'm not hitting, it's because my gun is terrible. Uh, and that was really frustrating in the beginning. Partly because I'm not used to it. Uh, you can get guns that do very little damage or something in other games, but they, they tend to be reasonably accurate. Um, and partly because headshotting is so important in this game. But mostly just because I I prefer games where where it's my skill, it's about my own skill, whether I succeed or not not because of my gear or what I have in my inventory or anything like that. I, I really prefer when it's up to me. Uh, and, and that made the first like half of the game pretty frustrating at times. But um, other than that I think it was really good and it, it gives a really nice feeling that is easy to get into. I don't mind particularly that I never felt like I was... I mean this wasn't my story, this was... this was Strelok's story, this was the Mark 1 story and um, I don't mind that at all. That's just differences between games, you know. Did I understand what was actually going on now? Um, I think so. <laughs> I think so. It was a little abrupt. Th this ending, I mean. Like, you run around on the rooftops and no one actually tells you what you're supposed to do or why. And then suddenly, randomly, you're teleported. Apparently you teleport from uh, rooftop X into some place. I, I suspect that that's the place where the consciousness guys are lying. Like, they're powering the machine, right? So he shoots the tubes and that kills them and that kills the machine. And that effectively, I suppose, ends the zone problem. Or the at least the mind control problem. It sounded like the zone was something kind of permanent that they were trying to control. Oh hey, they were actually at Chernobyl making research. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, music. Hmm, I haven't really thought about music through this game. 
that usually means it's it's good but not great <laughs> when you don't notice it. it it fits the moods you know and it, it fills its purpose mm. I guess that the the whole sequence um, from when I started playing today, which is where the duty guys were, and then all the way up to uh, you got into the well, actually, basically through the the factory as well. It was very intense. Everywhere else you fight, you can basically if you if you'd wanted, you could have just turned around and left. And you know you you have the enemy in front and and safety behind. Uh, but in that place, it really was <laughs> backing up was equally dangerous as pressing forward. So it it gave a, a really sort of high pace intensity to the whole thing. And I like that too. Um, it actually sped up the game a little bit instead of just feeling like you're waiting for the enemy to to poke their head around the corner so you can shoot them or try to shoot them again I think that I probably got into the game a bit more the longer I got through it sort of starting to understand how it works and what what the point is and I think I would have fun with playing it again just trying other things and actually when you already know how things work and what's coming, then you have a different s situation and opportunity to to test things out. It has been very fun, and it has been great fun, this whole YouTube adventure of mine. I think the whole process actually, the, the gaming, the editing, the whole commenting and sort of hanging around uh, has been really lots of fun. I hear that there's a lot of people or well, a lot of people, but I mean I've heard that some of you stream playing so you can talk to people in real time and I have to say that I kind of prefer it this way I mean, when I get really frustrated when I can't find my way, then it's easy for people to just tell me what to do but even if it's very frustrating it's also it's about that sort of feeling of accomplishment again when you actually find your way when I actually figured out that you were supposed to jump into the warping the warping anomalies now that was such a great feeling sort of it, it just yes you did it also kind of god damn it you're stupid but you know I I did it um, but that would probably be different you know if you play it again I hope you guys had a fun time it's very sort of different feeling between episodes, I think, and when things start to get intense with the shooting, I get very uh, very silent, and then when I'm just running around, I'm just chatting on and on and on, and I, I don't know, but that's sort of how things are, right? When you focus, you get silent. It's also too serious. I mean, running around going, ah, I gotcha, motherfucker. It doesn't really feel like the right sort of uh, universe for that. It it just didn't. This felt like the, the quiet kind of shooting. The the one where you go, where you heave a sigh, sigh of relief when you kill an enemy rather than go, haha, I got you. Because every single person with a gun is could be the end of your adventure, sort of. And... I really, really meant it when I said that the, all the quick saving, when I start quick saving like that, again and again and again, it's like, it's just like a safety, it's like a teddy bear. 
uh, and sometimes I wish I had like a fake quick save button so I could just sort of click it and feel better and then I could continue <laughs> um, because then I get frustrated on myself for being so lenient but I really think that I got into it enough at the end there that I didn't want to I actually didn't want to die even if I quick saved five seconds earlier it it felt important important to not die somehow and uh, and I actually think that this game benefit benefits greatly from that just charging ahead like I did in the beginning um, trying to get just trying again and again to to get people and picking people off um, just doing it that way the game isn't that fun but when you actually start sneaking around and firing shot after shot around the corner it's very different uh, and it's better so that was my thoughts about this game anyway um, I'm probably not going to play anymore right now there's other games I want to play and there's stuff like I really I, I'm kind of curious about sticking my head into some kind of horror or something We'll see. Spec Ops is presumably still going on by the time this finishes. And yeah, I'm just considering the possibility of playing the next game or any mods for this one, but I'm not going to say anything about that right now because we'll see. There's so many games out there and so much fun new things to try. I'm glad I tried this and I'm glad you were with me for it. So have fun out there guys and I hope to see you in some other game later on. <laughs>